devices are upgradable. This one is not. So uh, I don't know what I can show you. Well, well uh, let's start with a sniffer mode. It's funny. So you can enable, do not change the state or disable it. So we'll enable it. And it's going pretty fast. So I got to disable this. Uh, no, too fast. OK. Anyway, uh, if we add one uh, Wireshark, you'll see that there's a lot of Ethernet frames being sent by this sniffer mode, and you can get a lot of physical information. Uh, since we could not pair our devices, we won't be able to show you the link statistics information, but you can get very detailed information about the uh, tone map being used between two devices, and for each sub-career, you can get the modulation of it. So it can be interesting if you want to uh, do an estimation of the uh, theoretical rate between two devices. So um, as I told you previously, we are looking for contributors to uh, test the, the tool on different devices. So far, we've been trying to uh, get a wide range of devices, but not everything has been tested. Um, it could be interesting to implement a GUI on top of it, because um, well it's command line based, so it's interesting, but it's not really, uh, it's not night candy. And uh, we have other projects um, in parallel, such as doing a Wireshark dissector for it. And uh, we will probably start prototyping a PLC stack using a FPGA and a FI chip so that we can uh, have a, a, an open source device, open hardware device doing power line communications. So uh, question session is now open. If you want, if you have any question, okay. Please wait for the microphone. The microphone is coming from the gotcha. We have five minutes. Um, you have ten minutes now for questions. Okay. <laughs> any question? Yeah, it's, it's switched off. No, no, it's on. Okay. Have you seen any of these power line devices uh, with included power over Ethernet? Because I always thought it would be a nice feature to have power over Ethernet because it's generally plugged into a power socket. No, usually, usually they are using the energy uh, coming from the electrical network. Yeah, no, my question was, if you want to uh, attach some, for instance, voice over IP telephone, which is uh, capable for power over Ethernet, so it would be easier because you have just one thing which plugs into your network featuring one-time network data communication and uh, uh, power for, for the phone but it's not yet on the market. Or is anybody planning some devices which feature PoE? If I get the question right, you want to know if there is power over Ethernet devices? Output by, the Output. by these devices. Not from not that we know of. No. There's a lot of, well, there's quite a lot of things to change on the uh, power supply of your equipment if you want to do power line communication natively, so. Ah, okay. I see, thank you. I got a question. Uh, for the sniffer mode, do I need the NEC, the network encryption key, um, to do sniffer mode? No. No. What do I see then without the NEC? I just see encrypted packets. No, you see unencrypted packets. Unencrypted. Yes. Okay. We actually, you don't see all the frames from what we have seen. We don't, we don't investigate very uh, much the sniffer mode, but Basically, it's uh, mostly managing management frames that we see. Yeah, everything that is related to the Mac, uh, to the access to the medium, which is in clear, mm -hmm. is available to us in the Okay. Hello? Is there any form of internal checking on the frames? So is, it, is the injection possible at all? Or just encryption? I mean, the question um, is, uh, is there any form of integrity checking on frames? 
there's something I didn't talk about, but there's something called uh, loopback mode, which allows you to uh, create, a, to send a custom Ethernet frame to a device, and it's going to spread it to the network. Does that answer your question? Somehow? Um, somehow I was asking about the uh, cryptography, I mean, if there is any form of integrity checking, or it's just in plain encryption, on, uh, on basically on, on the key, just that. How the encryption system yes. works? Yes. If there is any form of integrity checking, I mean, something like a cinch or like, like that. Is, is injection possible, I mean, in the network? You can, you can use uh, devices in a, in a mode to inject frames. You will have, if you want, interaction with the other devices to be able to uh, be part of the network and use the NEC key that we are talking about, so to somehow recreate this NEC. Do we have more questions? How easy is it to use your code as a library to write, for example, stuff like KDE or GNOME network monitors that show me the link quality and stuff like this? Or is it on uh, a monolithic application? That's a good question. Um, I think this will require quite a lot of uh, code refactoring, but we already thought the tool to be uh, a library, so it should be fairly easy for you to, uh, to have a high level primitive such as uh, configure this equipment with, with this key. So yes. Thanks. Have you investigated the use of GNU radio and the universal software radio peripheral for decoding <laughs> PLC signals? Of course, when we're talking about using FPGA to uh, implement the MAC layer, this is very close from what GNU Radio is doing. Basically, Proline Communications is injecting radio into a cable. If you, if you look at it from the physical layer and, the fi and the radio emission, what are you doing? You're taking high frequency modulation and you inject it into a copper, co copper cable, which is electrical cable, but for instance, you don't need the 50 hertz, 220 volt or 110 volt to have communications. You can do it on a normal cable. So from the radio aspect, it's very close from a radio technology. So you can use any kind of uh, advanced radio, Mac layer, uh, like new radio, and use it for the Mac parts. After you just need the right physical interface with the medium. Do we have more questions? <coughs> How much is the maximum distance between two um, environments? Or is it possible to enlarge the distance by your firmware? Or Wait for the microphone. Do I can repeat the question. The question was, what's the maximum distance between two equipments? And provided that you change the firmware, is it possible to extend the range? Uh, the, the power uh, transmission is limited by uh, hardware into the chips so far. Uh, we may have different vendors with the IEEE standard coming up and we may see some that will be able to uh, adjust the power transmission. The limitation now is uh, 100 milliwatts. So you have the same kind of limitation you have in Wi-Fi. The only thing you can play with is by injecting more properly the signal on the electrical cable, like using a uh, coupler, like inducti inductive coupler that you can wrap around the cable, and you will be able to do a magnetic injection of the signal into the cable. Then you will extend the propagation of the signal. Uh, in terms of distance, you can, uh, you can go up to uh, 100 to 400 meters of cable between two devices. Uh, with quite advanced injector, you can go up to one kilometer of cable, uh, but you, may, you need to be able to have a clean channel uh, at the physical layer. Have you looked at other types of protocols for PLC communication? There's one called Lone Talk or Lone Works, made by a US company called Echelon. Uh, which is very, very popular, probably one of the most implemented PLC communications. Have you looked anything at that? 
I, um, when I was splitting the PLC world into uh, low bitrate, high bitrate, loan works belongs to low bitrate, so the small, the low band that is between 3 kHz and uh, 150. We have been only targeting Ethernet uh, technology like Homeplug. Homeplug is uh, developing another competitor to Loneworks called Homeplug CC, which is a little bit inspired by uh, Loneworks. Um, but so far we have not been using Loneworks. People can add uh, functions to FIFA for Loneworks or Homeplug CC. Uh. Question. Is our, fr is our English okay for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay? <laughs> so let's you know we... Uh, a French uh, question. Let's have a bit of broken English then from uh, another French. Uh, the question is, as I understand, it's very hard to um, basically analyze uh, from a hardware perspective um, if you don't have an adapter. So the fact is your power line is acting as an antenna. How feasible is it to take it as a tempest kind of uh, eavesdropping equipment with an antenna from a remote distance and physically re-inject that directly into a current in order to just use the PLC normal adapters and FIFA to decode these kind of uh, messages. If I get the question clear, you want to tempest the power line cables? Yeah, and then re-inject into another, uh, another clean power line, I would say, that you will plug uh, uh, HP uh, AV, uh, home plug AV, in order to use FIFA as it is. So how feasible this would be? If you tempest the cable, uh, it will damage the, the signal for sure. Um, again, if you, if you are not uh, able to uh, be part of the logical network, it will be hard to, to receive the frames and work with that. You will have to implement the whole uh, two way. Okay. Well, in practice, you may notice that two, um, two logical on plug AV networks, for instance, I uh, get one at home, my neighbor has another one, both are um, inter you know, sharing, uh, share sharing the same bandwidth because it's not capable of, uh, for instance, this one uses uh, the low subcarriers and the other one uses high subcarriers. They're not capable of doing this, so they're interfering with each other. One question that we have uh, often is, I have power line communication at home with my ISP. Is my neighbor able to sniff my communications? Uh, the home plug AV standard says that all devices going out on the market are using the same default key, which is nice. <laughs> so basically everybody buying out of the shelf devices can share everything. Uh, I have been doing the test in a six stories building in Paris. From the sixth floor to the ground floor, I can see the communications. So you can have a large Ethernet hub sharing everything in a building if you don't change the default key. Yes. So you no longer need Freifunk. No. <laughs> you mesh your... Do we have more questions? More questions? Um, are there any outdoor equipments available on, on the market that you can buy or it's only for uh, dedicated ISPs that want to use this technology to spread internet? You, you can find uh, equipment out there. Uh, of course, you switch from a couple of uh, dozens of euros to a uh, thousand euros, but yes, you can, uh, you can find. Actually, the chip and the technology is the same, only the power uh, transmission is different and the way they inject the signal on the medium voltage or low voltage is different. Uh, last year, Google, this small company, they bought a power line communication company in the US called uh, Current Technology, which is providing internet access to, uh, to several uh, states in the US because they wanted to see what is the result of uh, internet access over power line. Could you please elaborate more on the outdoor use? Because you just said you missed the schematics and you didn't say anything about the outdoor use. So how, how can it be used outdoors? 
So when when we're talking about how how 